Hi there, gang. This is Dr. Jay Brightly with New Leaf Chiropractic and Family Wellness. We've been getting a lot of questions recently about what can I do to get better sleep. Here's 21 things that you could do starting almost today to get better sleep. Number one, really easy. Get bright light exposure during the day. Love it if you can add some exercise to this, but the bright light during the day tells your body to not make melatonin during the day, and it's going to make it later on in the day. Number two, blue light exposure. So this is the stuff that's on your iPhone and your iPad. Really important that if you have the option to put a night shift on, which means that your phone, your iPad, or whatever is going to put out yellow light instead of blue light, really important that you take advantage of that. I highly recommend also no electronics in your bedroom. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, don't even be tempted to pick up your iPhone at night. Blue light, number two. Get that blue light out. Get that daylight in the middle of the day in. Number three, don't consume caffeine late in the day. Kind of Captain Obvious, around 1 or 2 o'clock, even if that late night, late afternoon kind of lull comes in, don't fill it with caffeine. It's going to throw off uh, number five, which we'll get to in just a moment. Number four, though, which is also affecting number five, number four is reduce irregular or long daytime naps. A lot of research here, gang, coming out saying that a 20, 30-minute nap in the middle of the afternoon is a really, really good idea. Take advantage of that. Don't make it more than 30 minutes, certainly not an hour, because that's going to throw off your number five, which is to get regular sleep and wake up times consistent. If you're a 10 o'clocker, be a 10 o'clocker as best you can. But if you get a late workout, uh, like a late work night, you end up being up till 11, fine. Keep your normal wake up the same. If you're 6 a.m., keep it 6 a.m., because you're going to do better the second day. I always want to aim for that seven, eight hours of sleep. We all know that. Some people need more, some people need less, but try to keep it consistent when you go to sleep, when you wake up. Number six, take a melatonin supplement. I'm a big fan of this, especially if you've got kids. Um, it's a, now, melatonin is a sleep hormone that your body usually makes. It tells your brain when it's time to rest and digest, relax, go to bed. Uh, melatonin is often used to treat insomnia. Um, Studies are saying about two milligrams of melatonin before bed will improve your sleep, sleep quality and, frankly, your energy the next day. Also, helps you fall asleep faster. I just ask my kids how they know. Uh, there's another study that was done that said about 15%, that you, there's about a 15% kind of subjective improvement in sleep quality when people are supplementing with melatonin also. There's supposed to be no side effects, so that's a good thing. And one more key thing about melatonin, really, really helpful to use. You're traveling east west going across time zones melatonin can help you get on that new time zone much better much more effectively much more naturally than like a like a sleep pill number seven so we're getting the supplements here olive oil uh, olive oil <laughs> sure why not number seven lavender oil <laughs> i'm a big fan of olive oil though lavender oil is good to put a drop on your pillow put some on the nape of your neck. I really, really like this. This is a doTERRA supplement. Um, the doTERRA brand in particular, we really like. Um, just a little bit on your neck. Uh, we have some lavender, like it's like a ball we put on our kid's chest that can help them sleep. Maybe you can hear our kids get ready for bed in the room next door. Number eight, another supplement, magnesium. We love this particular brand called Calm. Calm is really, really good thing. You just kind of stir it in a little bit of water a little bit before you go to bed, that can help you sleep. I take a magnesium supplement pill frequently also. That helps me get good sleep. Number nine comes courtesy of Dr. Danny Amon, who does a lot of work with the brain. He says that in his brain scans he's doing, ginkgo biloba as a supplement helps light up the brain and keep the regular rhythms and routines that it needs to, to get sleep on a regular basis. Number 10, don't drink alcohol. It might help you fall asleep faster, but the restful and quality sleep you just don't get with alcohol. Don't drink alcohol, number 10. 11, get dark. This means no bright alarm clocks. This is the alarm clock I keep in my bedroom. I push the button, it turns this color, and then it just goes away. The nice thing about it is that my, my room is dark. Dark is key. That, for five seconds, doesn't matter if you want to see if it's close to time to wake up. Um, in addition to being dark, other things that we do, we have these blackout shades, these little honeycomb shades. Those are a really good choice. We also keep black on shades over the uh, over the shade that pulls down. So, we, we're, so we've got curtains and shades that keep it black. We even have our smoke detectors with a little bit of black nail polish we put over it to, to, for the light that stays on, let you know it's working. We, we dim it also with that. 
All right, number 13 was, uh, so number 11 was get dark, no bright alarm clocks. Um, to go with that, number 12 was white noise. We're big fans of these dome, D-O-H-M things. Right there. You can get these on Amazon for 20 bucks, 30 bucks. It, do, it does put out a little bit of an EMF frequency, so you definitely don't want to keep this right near your bed when you're sleeping. All right, so dome alarm clocks, white noise. Our clients come in and say, Looks like hunters get ready for bed. A client said, did you hear that noise last night? Did you hear the lightning? Did you hear the thunder? The answer is no, we didn't. The reason why we don't hear it is because we've got this thing running in our bedroom and it keeps things nice and quiet. All right, white noise, number 12. 13, no electronics. For a variety of reasons, no electronics in the bedroom. Um, first of all, my iPhone, I keep it plugged in downstairs. I don't want to even be tempted to pick it up and get out of my routine in the morning. Um, and also, electronics put out, they put out, they do put out a frequency and it can affect your sleep. Even TVs, a good friend of mine said, hey, what was going on with his daughter? She was waking up grumpy in the morning and she wasn't getting quality. So she wasn't herself. Well, it turns out that she had a laptop, even though it was close, underneath her computer and like that frequency that pushed off just totally disrupted and changed her sleep patterns. If you have TVs or things, I suggest you unplug them. No electronics in the bedroom, number 13. 14, keep it cold. 70 degrees, 69 if you can. The colder, generally the better for sleep. Um, hot just, just doesn't do well for sleep. 15, don't, leave, don't not eat late in the evening. If you must eat, go for something like protein that's gonna assimilate in your body and not create energy. You want your body to, it's certainly carbs later, not a really bad idea. That's just gonna create more energy, sugar, really, really bad idea. 16, relax and clear your mind in the evening. This means you're reading books, not movies. Light music, relaxing music. Um, I've got a bunch of lullabies. Alexa, put on some lullabies. That's not a terrible choice. I do that with my kids. Um, but books are a great way to relax and clear your mind. Meditation, great way to clear your mind. 17, take a relaxing bath or shower and supercharge it. Put in some lavender, put in some Epsom salts. This can help you relax also. Number 18, get a comfortable bed, mattress, pillow. I get asked about this all the time in my practice. There's no great answer for mattress. Generally speaking, like firm spring mattresses, but you gotta find out what works for you. If you're waking up with a sore back or neck in the morning, it means the pillow, mattress, bed, something's just not right there. So look at your bed, mattress, pillow. I've got a chiropractic friend who likes these therapeutic, um, these memory foam ones. I don't love them, but he does. So. Go, go with what works for you. All right, that was number 18. Get a couple bed matches and pillow. Number 19, exercise regularly during the day, especially when it's bright outside because then I can kill two birds with one stone towards getting sleep. Never exercise before bed. If you're going to get ripped to do 100 push-ups at night, it's just, it never ends well. It creates endorphins in your body. Really, really bad idea. So exercise regularly, absolutely. Let your body wear down. Let your mind wear down but do it in the morning, do it in the midday, never late at night, never before bed. Uh, number 20, the last two, number 20 and 21. Number 20 is don't drink any liquids before bed. Let me phrase this, don't drink many liquids before bed. One of the things that I do right before I go to bed is not drink, I fill up a huge glass of water and I set it next to my bed. One of the first things I do, I reach over, I grab it, rehydrate first thing in the morning, especially living out in Colorado, really good choice. But to do it for bed, gonna get up in the middle of the night and you're gonna go pee and then that just that never ends well when you get up and you have to go back to sleep I'd much rather you go to bed hydrated um, so if you have to get up and pee and be hydrated I'd rather you be there than dehydrated but a little bit of planning and then I'm obviously going to the bathroom before bed and then plan and get rehydrated in the morning that's my favorite choice what and again first thing in the morning Exercise to go with that hydration, really, really smart choices. And then you can go downstairs and get your coffee. Now you got a really supercharged morning going for you. Number 21, get your nerve system checked. Hey, look, I'm a chiropractor. This is what I do. If your body's sympathetic overload, it's going, 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 going all the time because of all the stress in the world, put it in a parasympathetic mode, rest and digest mode. This happens when we do a proper x ray, proper exam, nerve scans, and we look and see is there something going on in your neck and in your mid back in particular that's causing you to be your nervous system overstimulated and you can never sleep. Uh, great story one of my first clients ever uh, when I was working out in Ghana uh, doing some mission work he comes in, gets adjusted after we look at x rays and such, and comes back the second day. I said, hey, How'd you do? Oh man, terrible, not good. Whoa, terrible. <laughs> I'm like fresh out of school, right? So I'm 
oh geez, like how did I mess this guy up? Um, I said, well, after I left here, I was tired. I said, oh, great. You were having sleep problems. He goes, not great. I'm a chicken farmer. I need to get sleep in the middle. I cannot be sleeping in the middle of the day. I need to sleep at night. Now I had to sleep in the middle of the day and I couldn't do my work. Now, I did sleep better that night. Fine. But can you can you make it so that I don't sleep in the middle of the day? What I told him is this. This is, this is how you know chiropractic's working. And it's likely that your body will get into regular rhythms and routines with the chiropractic. And sure enough, after his second, third adjustment, it was his third adjustment, his body didn't need that middle of the day nap that we're talking about. So, hope this was helpful. Let me give you the 21 things again. All right, one, bright light during the day. Two, reduce blue light at night. Three, don't consume caffeine late in the day. Four, cut out the long nap. Five, sleep and wake at regular times. Six, melatonin supplement. Seven, lavender oil on pillow or neck. Eight, magnesium, especially before bed. I like calm. Ginkgo biloba is a supplement. Nine, great choice. Ten, never alcohol. Eleven, dark, 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 dark. Shades, blackout, alarm clocks, things with lights. Get them out. Twelve, white noise. Alexa, play white noise. Sure. Dome, whatever. I don't care. No electronics in your bedroom. This could be Alexa too. <laughs> But, I'm, but by electronics, it means iPad, TVs, phones. Get them out of your bedroom. 14, cold, 69, 70 degrees. 15, don't eat late in the evening. 16, relax and clear your mind in the evening. Books, not movies. 17, baths or showers. Supercharge it with lavender oil. Get a comfortable bed, pillow mattress, Captain Obvious. Number 19, exercise regularly. Not by not before bed. Love it first thing in the morning with a run. Push-ups and hydration first thing in the morning which means no hydration before you go to bed. That was number 20. Number 21, get your nerve system check. Check, see your chiropractor. See if there's something that we can do to help you more naturally integrate the process, the important process of sleep.